Welcome Warrior fans to this week's edition of Warrior Wednesday, where we give you an inside look at one of the student athletes here at Corbin University. I'm Peter Martin and today we're joined by Dane Walker, senior member of the men's track team. Dane, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. First of all, talk about why you chose to attend Corbin University. <laughs> I was, I'm from, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and initially I was, I was planning on staying at, in Alaska and attending University of Alaska Anchorage. Um, it was actually one of my track meets in Anchorage that Coach Bernie, our head coach, was at the meet and he was recruiting. And I was pretty dead set on staying in state, but I talked to him and he put the bug in my ear to go out of state and pursue a track and field outside of the snow and yeah, be, be away from home and not to mention the awesome experience of being at a Christian university and the community. So that was definitely the drive for me. Who has been the biggest influence in your athletic career thus far? Biggest influence in my athletic career? I would have to say my high school throws coach, Coach Cologne. I wasn't really athletic until I started pursuing the throws in high school. And he really, uh, he really, he really motivated me, really motivated me and definitely changed my life as far as you know, athletic discipline and wanting to wanting to work out and to commit to be good at, at athletics is something I hadn't pursued before. So is that a big impact in my life? Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, well, I'm an ed major, so hopefully I'll be teaching somewhere. I'm getting married this summer, so. It's hard to say where exactly I'll be, but could be just here in the United States teaching, potentially overseas teaching. I guess right now it feels like there's a lot of opportunities I could have, and so I would, I'd love to be here, I'd love to be overseas. We'll see. If you were stranded on an island, what two things would you want to have with you other than food and water? Other than food and water. Uh, can I say a magic lamp? To get me whatever, get me whatever I needed, or is that a cop out? <laughs> I mean, it's cheating, but you can say it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if I was gonna be a survivalist, I'd want, I definitely want to have a knife, and probably, probably a sturdy tarp to retain water. What three words would your teammates use to describe you? Thoughtful, I guess as far as the way I approach my sport. Sometimes I, I'm criticized for being, I guess, too in my head to think about athletics. Um, dedicated, I think, is I, I really tried to push, push my team, my teammates to, to work hard as they have done with me. And definitely been a culture of that. So at least I hope that's what they, they'd say of me. And I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty motivated person. It's motivated sometimes. Sometimes it takes away from what I should be doing. Sometimes I, sometimes I'm too, I'm too focused, and I need to, I need to loosen up and have more fun. Sometimes. Returning our focus back to track, what role does your Christian faith play in your success as an athlete? Well, the biggest. Definitely the biggest thing I've learned being an athlete as a Christian is, I mean, it sounds, it sounds kind of, you know, depressing and counterintuitive as an athlete, but really just the, I guess the vanity of sports by themselves. It's, you know, I've worked so hard for eight plus years for the sport and it's ultimately it's all gonna go away. You know, who cares how far I can throw a metal plate, right? So it's, what it's about is, how developing the, the technique and the and just the discipline overall has affected me as a person. And then beyond that, the personal relationships that you build with people. And that's that's what's spectacular about Corbin is it's not just about numbers, it's not just about becoming a, a freak athlete, it's about getting to know your team, it's about a relationship. And sports are great, they're awesome, but in the long run what really matters is 
character growth and relationships with people. That's what people really take away from sports. Dane, thank you for your time today and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Go Warriors.